Yes, I think each person has a different element they bring to the movie. Certainly the con contest winners were looking for a way to start to introduce them into being in a movie. And so you may see them in small parts, but hopefully in something where they're prominent and you can actually see them, but certainly giving them their start in the movie business. Certainly when you talk about an actress like Lee Bing Bing, how successful she's been, that certainly she will then have more lines and, and hopefully be more prominent in the movie. Hang Gang, his schedule has been a little difficult in terms of us. He's obviously very popular, and so finding time and getting him into the movie, we're still trying to work on maybe some additional scenes to put him in, because he certainly is incredibly talented, and, and Michael Bay loved the footage they got with him. So we're looking to see if we can find some other ways to uh, film him. But certainly all in all, it's been really great in terms of working with all of them. I think they've had a lot of fun being on the set of a movie like this and uh, being part of it, and I think each of them... I think a big part of what this can do is whenever you're around a movie set and being able to watch actors like Mark Wahlberg and Stanley Tucci, that when you're somebody who's just trying to break into the movie business, it may not even be as much about what you get to do on that movie, but being on a set all day and watching the way the actors prepare and, and watching Michael Bay direct, I think will really help them in terms of as they, as they start to per pursue acting careers. Well, it's been essential for us in terms of, for the first time, for us to to reach out and, and be shooting here in China and working with Chinese actors and putting that whole team together has, has been great working together and, and certainly been essential for us. Well, I think we're both learning from each other in this process that certainly um, producing a giant live action movie that combines visual effects and actors is certainly something very complicated and, and takes place on a global scale. But then us learning in terms of how to be most efficient in, in filming in China and how to work with our, our new partners. So I think we've learned a lot together, and I think moving forward it'll, it'll work even better. Yeah, I think this is part of where the cooperation has been great in terms of working with Chinese partners who can really help us to make sure that we're putting an accurate picture of China. And so that's our hope, is both in terms of locations and the actors and the environments we're in, that it will look like what you would expect if you're a Chinese citizen and you're watching these, you are watching these movie, the, these elements take place, that this is what it would look like. And that's our hope, is that therefore it looks very natural and very consistent with Chinese culture and, and the, the way that this movie is now incorporating that. Yes, I think, as we talked about, the as folks start to learn more about China and now there's a lot more sharing of information, now I hopefully we'll do a much better job um, of avoiding those types of things in the future. Yes, certainly in terms of helping to identify the locations. Um, you know, as we're looking for a great variety, and at times we'll say we're looking for these types of things. So they were very helpful in picking and, and identifying what we hope will be visually spectacular locations in China. So they were very helpful in, in that. Also in terms of ideas about casting, and um, truly working with us on the script to make sure that we were giving an authentic representation of China and Chinese culture and Chinese people as they're reflected in the movie. Well, I certainly think in terms of the popularity of this franchise and the expansion in the Chinese film market, that certainly is possible. Um, but I think as we look at this film and the potential for it, we're just very excited about how the movies have played performed in China in the past. I'm very optimistic about how this went as well. Well, there's no question we live in a world now where word of mouth travels very quickly, whether it's about a movie being really good or a movie not being good. And so, again, I think it increases the obligation on us to make the best films because the movies that are really well made and stories that are really well told definitely travel the globe, and then you get a lot of great conversation going. And I think that continues to be what's incumbent upon us as part of the studios or with filmmakers of, of knowing that we have to really make the best possible movie. Not at all. I think the more authentic our storytelling is, then the better people will respond to the movie. And as we talked about now, the word of mouth is global on a movie. And therefore, if we make the best movie and have the most respectful, accurate representation of Chinese people and Chinese culture, that that 
I believe will be something that globally people will respond to. Well, for the last Transformers, um, China was not only the second market, but almost double the next market. And I think for Michael Bay, creatively, there was a lot of conversation after the third movie that he might not make anymore. And we had a lot of conversations about what a new series of movies could look like and what could be unique about it, and again, give him something as an artist that would be a new challenge and something that would be a new place for the franchise to go. And I think what we've seen is looking at what's just developing in the world and places that haven't been really included in big blockbusters and the opportunity to film here in a lot of different um, locations, that was something that was very exciting for him as a filmmaker and storyteller to be able to incorporate something really unique into the movie. So there are a lot of elements in terms of this movie that take place here in Beijing and in Hong Kong and, and other locations in China. And so both the combination of filming in those locations as well as then including Chinese actors in the film has been a, a new challenge and we think something that will really make the movie represent where a uh, movie going is and where China is in terms of its um, importance in the world. Well, there's so many great locations here that haven't been filmed for U.S. movies. And so the opportunity on um, Saturday that we were filming on the Great Wall, the things that are so impressive that only exist here. And so the opportunity to work in, in locations and places like that. Yeah, I think um, there's been a pretty consistent... Um, level of understanding of what movies tend to work best in China and therefore the movies like Transformers that have a great tradition of popularity and and so as we're developing different movies of understanding which ones are likely to be embraced by the Chinese market and having those conversations at the very beginning of the process as we're developing the movies so I think it's been a pretty consistent and, and fair process um, by and large well each time we've waited till the movie has come out to start the next one and making sure that we've made a really satisfying movie that was popular and then starting to figure out where a next adventure should go. But certainly our hope is that we could continue to make Transformers movies well into the future. We don't have the plans yet, but it is certainly my hope that we will have a five and a six. Well. It is certainly, as we've talked about, become a very important market. So both in terms of looking for the opportunity to work with Chinese filmmakers and to look for opportunities to work together with co-production or assisted production is certainly a, a key element of what we'll now be looking to identify. Not yet, but I think we've now developed a lot of great relationships and learned a lot. So I think now as we're looking forward to future movies that we can start to identify ones and hope to be able to find ones that we can work together again. Yeah, I think a combination of things. Certainly, as we look at the movie business, the global marketplace has become bigger and more important over the last five years, and certainly China during that time frame. The incredible development, the investment in new theaters, the investment in the motion picture business has been very impressive. So as more films are being distributed in China and more investment is being made in, in Chinese films, that can only help increase the appreciation of Chinese moviegoers for all movie going, and certainly now great theaters with the best presentation. And so I think for us, we certainly see that as a lot of opportunity in terms of creating movies that the Chinese audiences will enjoy.